If I could sum up the feeling that I want to convey in this video in just one thought or one idea, it would be thank you. Thank you to you who watched my videos this past year. Especially thank you to those of you who supported me on the Printer Block Skyforce Kickstarter. And thank you especially to those of you who back me on Patreon. Your support, watching and going the extra mile supporting me in other ways, is really, is really something that I have to be very grateful for. You guys make this channel possible. You help to support me and my family, and it's absolutely wonderful. Thank you, guys. I feel like I've been in problem-solving mode for the past year. There have been a number of things that have just been kind of boiling, and for the past couple of months, I've really been working on these problems, and I, they are coming to a head now where I can tell you about them. The first one, the biggest one, is... Well, I can't post a certain type of video on this channel. If I post a video about using Blender, it always, always tanks. And, you know, I could blame the algorithm, but it's not the algorithm. It's the fact that those sort of videos are just kind of tonally dissonant from the normal sort of video that's on this channel. And so I really need to focus on this channel, but I really love making Blender content. And so I have a solution. Blender for 3D printing. I don't know how that username was not already taken on YouTube, but it wasn't, and it's now mine. And I am now producing videos on that channel that are all about Blender. There are Blender tutorials, there are Blender project videos, and the vibe of that channel is going to be a little bit more mellow and laid back. It's going to be relaxed. It's going to be Let's just make something and have fun. I'm even in, you know, playing with the idea of doing some ASMR support removal just, just for a little bit of fun. And that channel is one that I am going to be producing videos on in addition to the videos on this channel. Now that does mean that I'm probably going to be producing fewer videos on this channel. I'm going to be splitting my time now between two channels and I haven't suddenly got a new whole amount of time, but I'm not done here. And that's, that's what I want to emphasize is I've still got videos to make on this one. Now, if in the past you've looked at my blender videos, seen them pop up on your feed and went, eh, you don't have to love blender for 3d printing. You can continue to just stick with me here and I'll stick with you guys and we'll have a good time. But if you do enjoy watching stuff get made in Blender and just hearing me chit chat about whatever's on my mind at the time, well, I hope you'll check that channel out and hopefully we'll have a good time over there. So that's number one. Number two, there's a lot that went into this. There, there was a problem last year and that I just got inundated with 3D printers to the point where that was like the only video that I was producing on this channel was videos about 3D printers because I had a stack of 3D printers taller than me off camera over here that I was just, I would do one and then I would do the video for it and I'd pull out the next one and I'd do the video for it and it was just overwhelming. That in addition to a lot of other things means that I am making a small change behind the scenes that doesn't affect you but I hope won't affect your opinion of me, but might. In the past, whenever somebody has contacted me and said, hey, we want you to do our 3D printer, review our 3D printer and, and share it with people, my policy was, yes, I would love to do that, but I cannot promise you that I will make you a video. The reason for that being that if I take the printer, which has monetary value, and promise them a video, that is me taking money for a video. So instead I would just say, hey, listen, I'll do the video if I can. And that that wasn't good enough for some of them. And I, and I got harassed by some people going, hey, when are you gonna do the video? When you, you said you were gonna, I didn't say I was gonna do the video, but the new policy is I'm opening up an option. And I'm saying, if you would like to guarantee that I will work on a video, you can now sponsor a project not sponsor a video i want to be clear they're not they're not buying the video because i am still not giving 
anybody else control over what I am telling you and what I am sharing you. It's so very important to me that I am able to be honest with you. But if they sponsor a project, I will use their 3D printer to make that project. I will show the 3D printer in the video. I might talk lightly about some of the specs, but I probably am not in that video going to give a review or my opinion of the 3D printer in general. What I am going to do though is if I feel there's a reason to or a reason to expand on that more, I will make a second video, a review video about that 3D printer, not about the project, just tell you my honest opinion of the 3D printer. Break it down in the ranking, put it in the big list of, of my all the 3D printers I've reviewed, spreadsheet and all that stuff. So this new policy though means that you might see in the future a video on my channel that says features sponsored content or paid content or however YouTube denotes that. And I hope that that doesn't dilute your opinion of me. I hope that you understand that I am not selling the channel. I'm not selling videos. I'm not taking their script and being their monkey and reading it. I should maybe come up with, with a price value for that, but no, I'm not doing that right now. I am giving them the opportunity though to guarantee that I will make a video for them by sponsoring a project. So just understand that that might be coming. And I hope that that doesn't, I hope that you guys will still stick with me and understand my reasons for doing that. It's, it's, there's, like I said, there was a lot of reasons that went into it, but one of which is just, I was overwhelmed and it, it was stopping me from doing the content that I wanted to do. And so this is a way that we can kind of split the difference there. I still want to look at new 3D printers. I still want to evaluate them and see if I can find a new recommendation to share with people. But the truth of the matter is I don't need most of these 3D printers. I have all the 3D printers that I could want or need. Now, if a manufacturer contacts me and they have a really high-end, really good 3D printer that is quite frankly, I'm excited for, those guys I might say, hey, listen, I, I, I will do a video for you, please, thank you. But I might mark that as, you know, I did take the 3D printer. But for the most part, yeah, I'm going to ask 3D printer manufacturers who contact me to sponsor projects to guarantee that I will be making a video for them. I hope that's okay with you guys. Guys, it's, it's going to be an exciting 2023. There's more that I want to share with you in this video, but I think I'm going to stop myself there. Like, I mean, for instance, I want to talk about how I've rearranged a space. Notice the table's gone. It's over here now. And, and I'm going to be doing some things with that. I hope in the coming year, but for now, thank you guys for sticking with me up until now. I hope that you guys will check out Blender for 3D printing. I hope that you guys aren't taken off guard by any other changes that might happen. But you know, if you want to talk about it, if you want to express your opinion about it, the comment section is down there. I'm on Discord, Twitter, and now on Mastodon. And I would love to hear from you your thoughts and opinions about this. And if there's anything else I can do to make this channel or the new Blender for 3D printing channel better, let me know. I'm, I'm all ears. I want to make the stuff that you guys want to see, but as always, thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all that you do. And I hope that 2023 is a good year for you. I'm gonna be doing everything I can to make it good for me. And I'll see you then.